Hi guys, welcome back to Game Muscle Videos. We are going to jump into Rec Room to check out the latest update to Rec Room, which introduces uh, paintball. Paintball gameplay. And to be honest, nothing sounds better to me than mixing virtual reality and uh, paintball. Now we've just loaded up. Rec Room, of course, is completely free. Uh, I think in the future they plan to monetize it through the use of uh, cosmetics such as hats, trainers, we don't have any legs so they won't be able to do trainers, but hats and uh, beards and all the fancy stuff that people like to spend money on. Now, uh, Rec Room, of course, is like a, a cool little social space as it is and has other game modes in like Frisbee, we checked out in the early video, which you can check out on the channel. But as I say, they've literally, they've literally just added this pinball mode. So let's check it out. Pinball? That's the wrong game. Paintball. So let's go to the paintball room. Hi, guys. Hello. 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 I mean, it's fun. Dart interception. You guys want to uh, want to play some paintball? I want to put some paddleball. He has a top hat on. Yes. No. It's an illusion. No paintball? No. I, I'm going to go and play paintball. We are recording a video. You could be famous on YouTube. Oh, yeah, sure. So let's go and play I some paintball. Sure. Pa pa paintball. I Party join. Anything. Oh, is this what you do to join parties? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm making it all up as we go along. Yeah. Go on. Okay, you're in the party with me now. Let's go and play paintball. Guys, come on. We're playing paintball. Come and join us. Come and join us. Bro hit my fist. Here. Posh guy in the jacket who's floating around like a drunk. Stop hitting that. Hit my fist. Join. Punch me. Punch me. Oh, okay. Right. We're going to go and play paintball. Here I we go. So, paintball. Yeah, I think I've seen you before. You have? Oh, no. Hello. Yeah, I think you were hanging around the room. <laughs> yes. Bring party. There we go. So, to join in, you just <laughs> click on there. You bring your party in. You can join in. You play paintball straight away. So, here we go. Into paintball in virtual reality. Uh, I have decided to pick the warmest day in the history of the United Kingdom to play paintball. Because why not? Why, why wouldn't you pick the warmest day to put a virtual reality device on your face and then prance around like a lunatic in, in a badly overheating house that, of course, doesn't have air conditioning because only rich people have air conditioning in the UK. And uh, there you go. So you can pick your guns up. Basically, the way the paintballing works is you can... Grab a weapon by grabbing it with your hand and then you press the menu button. For some reason, my Star Trek phases are showing and also my hands are back to front. Let's swap that over. I'm not sure what, how that's happened. Um, so, <laughs> this is a bit weird doing this with the headset on. So you pick it up by just grabbing the gun and then pressing the menu button. We're phasing people as well. They don't know. They think we're playing paintball, but actually we're going to stun them with our phaser. That's how you win at paintball. You kill everyone. Um... And then it's just capture the flag, really. So we're going to start a game. You guys ready to get going? And uh, yeah. start game. So there we go. You've got we've got two people on my team, two people on blue, and you just click start game, and it'll go. I assume I'm the host. We're going to get teleported to the arena. Good luck, guys. You'll notice that the uh, microphone is on. There we go. There's our paintball. Eh, wrong button. Grab it, pick it up. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but the actual paintballs are pretty accurate, like you can aim them where you want them to go. And there's like a cooldown timer on the teleportation, so you can't just beam immediately. <laughs> For some reason, he hit me and it didn't count, but I'm not sure, maybe, maybe it was just a mismatch. But you can teleport around, you've got to get to their base, you can crouch behind cover, and it's, it's sort of just more casual fun than sort of a hardcore shooter, little bugger got me there <laughs> let's uh try and get the flag though we need to get a gun this is one thing that's a, a little bit funky with this people can spawn camp you quite easily because you don't spawn with a gun which is a bit strange oh he got me nice shot um so you spawn and you can get shot so it's a little bit rough at the moment but i think you know with the way that rec room's been going they're going to keep adding to it 
and improving as you go. You can dual world, but then you can't pick up the flag. So let's get this gun here. Let's go, let's try and get to their base. Let's get behind some cover. I think it's probably better to actually just kneel down on the floor, you know. Oh, he's got our flag, let's get him. There he goes. Ah, I'm gonna get him before he goes in the base. Ah, oh, we got him. Ah. Oh, we've returned the flag. There we go, we just saved our flag. That's where their flag would be. We're going to respawn now. I stay stood up, but <laughs> being kneeling down definitely seems like a sort of che cheating way of doing this. Where's the gun? There's one there. So let's let's sneak our way forward here. You'll notice that when they've got the flag as well, that they're uh, it's a big beacon, so it makes it easier to know where they are. Also, the game does have. Oh, we'll sneak behind this guy. <laughs> the game does have positional sand on it as well, so you can sort of... Whoa! You can use the sand to work out where people are. We've been attacked here. We're under fire. But to be honest, what this really shows to me, I mean, this is sort of... Let's try and get that guy. This is more sort of casual, but what I think... Whoa! You killed me. Nice shot. What, what I think it could do is if you... I don't think you need the ability to completely freely beam around i think it could actually be better if you had to beam if there was cover to beam to that was sort of set set points that you beam to rather than complete freedom uh and you know oh we haven't got a gun so we can't really do anything let's try and do a snatch and grab ah so yeah if you had like cover that you could go to with it being obviously less dense cover towards the middle of the map so it's harder to transform through it or move through the map. I think that could be better than having this freedom to move wherever you want. But still, as it is, I mean, this is pretty awesome. Oh, we're going to sneak around here. Oh, look, we're on fire. Oh, oh we're still alive. I thought we were dead there. Let's see if we can get this guy in the face. And there's one around the corner. Let's get around here, out of the way. They could probably hear us. Surprise. Oh, you bugger. <laughs> we need to work as a team. Where's the rest of my team? It can't just be me versus the entirety of the uh, everyone that's in this room. Oh, no. Oh, that's us. We scored. Well done. So you see, the scoreboard is displayed up the top there. Uh, blue tip. Obscured by the tree, so I can't actually see how well we're doing. I think you can also see the scoreboard by pressing the menu button, so I'll give that a little. We're just going to cow behind this block. Whoa. Shoot people in the back. Hello! Oh, <laughs> we both shot each other. <laughs> Obviously, all the hands and everything just tracks, everyone can wave at each other and all that business. As I say, this is more, rather than it being sort of like a hardcore, I'm going to be the best at paintball, I'm going to spend loads of time playing this, it's more sort of a, a social, more of a social uh, type of game. So I'll get the menu up and check the scoreboard by pushing. We need to get a gun so we can get that guy that's camping our flag. Ah! Now, I do think, at the moment, with the way you grab the gun and then press the menu button, it'd be better to grab it using the grab button on the Steam controller, but for now, this is what we're using. Red flag so we'll get the menu up here. Red flag if I push the menu button, and you can see what you're currently playing, you can jump to other events and games. And you can see all the people that are in the game with you. And we, we won. Where's this? It should sh show the display. There you go. It's a scoreboard. Game of muscle. 13 hits. 7 outs. We were on fire. Unstoppable. And uh, Morobitsu, I think, won because he got the uh, the most flags. Oh, no. Mishiba got the most flags. So, supposedly, we won that. So, let's go back to the uh, entry. I think that's how you... Uh, restart the game well you can just do it from the menu but start another game you can also game on. <laughs> we're playing <laughs> whoa what's going on hello hello what? let's try and actually get to a flag now though 
So all in all, it's a nice free addition to what is a completely free game as it is. We're going to try and sneak around the edge here. No one's seen us. No one knows what we're doing. Teleport behind the cover. My um, red team, because I've got red hands. And a rape gun. Sneak around here. No one's seen us. No one's seen us. Have a little look around here. There's someone there. There we go. They didn't have a gun. Always shoot people without a weapon. Good tip there. Pro tip. Now we're in their spawn. And this... <laughs> you can cheat a little bit there. We're going to move our way up. Come on. Sneaky beaky like. Get the flag. flag taken. Ah! Flag taken. Uh, highly recommend. Oh, we killed them and then we got shot afterwards. I think someone got us from the top. There's a little bit of delay. Uh, I wouldn't recommend playing this after playing uh, Raw... After playing raw data, because you'll be trying to use the grabbing from raw data when uh, clearly that doesn't work. Ah! But yeah, I definitely think the best thing about this that they could change to to make it better, what would really, what would really improve this, is if they make you just spawn with a gun, because the actual picking up of weapons isn't particularly satisfying it's more of a chore maybe uh, if you could you could pick up weapons to dual world so that's an option they could put different weapons in the middle of the map for example or you know the ability to do like pick up a second weapon in the middle of the map that'd be nice so there's a motivation to risk going out to have two guns but to be honest having two paintball guns isn't that much Red flag. shot in the ass isn't that much of an improvement over over having the single paintball gun so Whoops, we'll be careful we don't break anything. <laughs> I think we got hit there, yeah we did. But as an initial, VR paintball, paintball game is pretty cool. We've got to get the flag. You can see it there. Get to cover Red here. Let's try and sneak around here. See if we can get any. Look at him. Shot his gun. That'll count. <laughs> What's his gun flying over there? Okay, we need to get over there. Let's sneak around the corner here. Probably talking is not a good idea because. Oh, see, so you can't, you can't sort of teleport and immediately get someone because they will shoot you and you'll just end up taking each other out and not winning a battle. So you sort of have to teleport behind cover unless you manage to somehow teleport over the top of someone and shoot them in the back. But you sort of have, I'd say half a second where both people can kill each other. I guess maybe it's because they've already fired their gun and you've got you still got like latency. Oh he's got killed by someone else. Oh no he hasn't <laughs> We got him. Come on. <laughs> I feel vulnerable not seen us. Well, we've already got their flag, I think. Okay, we're gonna come round the back. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, we both got each other. <laughs> I don't know when the game finishes, though. We, we, I'm on, on the women's winning team, which is always a good thing. I do like the uh, the 2D graphics are actually pretty nice. All the 2D sort of cartoon finish makes everything look very clear. So I know some people prefer a more realistic look to things, and that would be cool as well. But one nice thing with having more minimal, flat shaded look to things is that um, it does give you sort of a clarity in terms of seeing stuff in the distance. Bearing in mind the sort of limited resolution of the uh, 
the vibe. We're going! We've got it! Come on! Red flag return. Come on! We need a little bit more cover here. We're going to get our first point here. Come on! Red team there! We scored! <laughs> Woo! That was a bit tense. Awesome. So uh, it'd be nice, actually, if you've got a group of people. If you're playing this more as a... As I say... Oh, we've still got a gun because I thought we hadn't died. If you're playing with a group of people you know and then you sort of work together to set up a defensive position and then move forwards as a group, then I think it'd actually be a lot more enjoyable than trying to sort of lone wolf it and uh, sneak your way past everyone. There's some people over there. Let's get around here. Yeah, a red flag is going down that side. Let's see if we can intercept it. Oh! I see, I killed them, but then they still managed to get me quite a while after. So hopefully that's something that can be improved on in the future. Red, our flag's been returned, it's alright, yeah. we're safe. Let's see if we can get their flag. You get more points. <laughs> I think you could cheat by poking your face through the objects, which I didn't think of. Which is a little bit of a problem, actually, if you had someone that behind cover and you just poke your head through. So I think the, uh, you know, as I say, this is more of a sort of casual, fun thing to play. Uh, if they were going for the more sort of serious thing, then obviously you'd have to have some kind of uh, thing that blanks out your screen. If you poke your head through a wall, something that blocks that out. Let's see the scores. Let's see how well we did. Red team champions. Don't know what's countdown, isn't it? We're going for another game. Someone's reactivated another game. Here we go. Woo. Not too bad in terms of... Uh, you don't have to be too active to play this and avoid getting shot. You crouch behind cover and what have you, but nothing... You know, it's not as active as some... Playing, like playing raw data, for example, is a workout. Although I am a little bit sweaty. Some sweat dripping down the face, but it's okay. Let's get around here. Let's cheat using the cover <laughs> technique there. So it lets go of the flag if you uh, accidentally let go of your controller. We think we're going to make it. We're back to safety. Oh, we're on fire now. Fantastic. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have exposed myself there. It's a lesson in life. Don't expose yourself. <laughs> Come on. Sneak on through. Go we'll get the flag. For some reason, I can't grab it. Oh, there we go. It's locked in. Okay. So you can lock the flag as well, actually. Like you can with the guns. Sneaky beaky. Well, if we get this back to the base, I think we've, uh, we've done. It's just... It's 3v1 as well, so it's hardly fair. He's in our base, I think. We'll, we'll get him and then we'll score. No, there we go. 
So, there you go. That's Red Room Paintball. As I say, I think it's more, let's just quit out of this. You can bring your party with you. As I say, it's more of a casual game. Uh, I'm not sure how seriously you could play it, but it's a nice int it, like implementation of... Um, it's a nice implementation of the, uh, of paintball. Uh, just needs a little bit of polish, but it's another fantastic, completely free game that you can play in Rec Room. Of course, it's got the uh, Frisbee, Golf, Disc Golf, Paddle Ball, Paintball, Dodge Ball, and 3D Charades, where basically this is just a penis drawing game. But there you go. That's an introduction to the uh, paintball mode in Rec Room. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video that we do. We'll be back very soon with another VR video or driving simulator video. Not sure what will be first, but until then, goodbye.